In this video, I present a different approach to obtain a regular expression from a non-deterministic finite automaton. And this approach is by solving equations. We start with the general idea and an example. The idea is that for each state of the NFA, we introduce a variable. And this variable is for the regular expression that defines all the words that would lead from this state to an accepting state. And then we derive a system of equations and we solve it. Let's have a look at this particular example. We start with the initial state, q1. We introduce a variable, x1. The variable x1 should define a regular expression for all the words that lead from q1 to our accepting state, q4. So in order to get to the accepting state, we consider all the possible outgoing transitions. The first possible outgoing transition is the A leading to Q2. So in order to get to an accepting state, we can either take the A transition, so all the words uh, using this A transition would be of the form starting with an A and then all the words that lead to an accepting state starting in Q2 which are the words which are defined by x2. This is the first case. The second possible case is to take the C transition to go to state Q3. So alternatively, so we have a plus here, alternatively we could take the C transition, or the words leading to an accepting state would therefore start with a C and continue with the words that uh, are accepted starting in Q3. So we get the equation x1 equals a x2 plus c x3. All the words that are accepted from Q1 are obtained by taking all the words that are accepted from Q2, which are an x2, and putting an a in front of them. Because we can take this transition. Plus all the words that uh, are accepted from Q3 and putting a C in front of it because of this transition here. And this is done for all the other states, Q2 and Q3, yielding the uh, equation x2 equals bx2 plus ax3 and x3 equals cx4. And if you look closely, you will realize that this actually mimics one-to-one -one the transition relation. We have a transition from Q2 with B to Q2, so we have X2 equals BX2, or alternatively, we have a transition with A to Q3, so we have plus AX3. Similarly, from uh, Q3, we only have a C transition to uh, Q4, so we have X3 equals CX4. And for the final state, Q4, we add the empty word epsilon, because Q4 is accepting, so the words that are accepted from Q4 are in this case epsilon, and no other words. And now we are ready to solve the equation. First, we substitute x4 equals epsilon into the equation for x3. So we do this here, and we get the result that the language accepted uh, from Q3 is C, concatenated with epsilon, which is C, so the language uh, accepted from uh, Q3 is expressed by the regular expression C, which is more or less what you would have expected directly. This C, uh, as a result of X3, can be substituted in the equation for X2, so we obtain the equation X2 equals BX2 plus AC, and we realize that this equation is recursive. And so we need a, a means for solving these kind of recursive equations. And this is given by Adam's lemma. This uh, lemma states that if you take three languages, u, v, x, and you require that epsilon, the empty word, is not in u, and then the equation x equals the union of u, x, and v, that this uh, equation has the unique solution x equals u star v. The intuition behind this lemma becomes clear if you just write down the equation. The equation is x equals 
ux or v. And now you expand the equation. So you replace the x by the right hand side of the equation. So you end up with u concatenated with ux or v or v. This is the same as u, ux or u, v or v. And if you continue expanding, you would end up with even more u's, an arbitrary amount of u's, but in the end you would have a v. And that's exactly what's uh, given by the solution u star v. You have an arbitrary number uh, amount of u's followed by v. We can then reformulate the lemma in terms of regular expressions and use the lemma to solve our problem here for x2. We know that x2 equals bx2 plus ac and taking this lemma uh, this b equals de in the Adams, Adams lemma, ac equals v, so the general solution is b star and the recursive uh, equation has the solution b star ac in this case, followed by ac. And that's the solution for x2. We can then take this solution and substitute it back in the equation for x1 and obtain uh, the regular expression for x1, which is then a b star ac plus cc. If we had more than one initial um, states, we'd have to take the union of the uh, regular expressions of the initial states to get the, um, uh, the regular expression for the automaton. But in this case, we just have one initial state, so this is actually the regular expression for our example automaton. To wrap it up, here's the algorithm for the general case. We start with an NFA, here NFAA, and then for every state, QI, we introduce a variable XI and an equation. To this end, we take all the possible transitions that start in QI, so the transition with A1 to QI1 and so on, and if the state qi is not accepting, then we introduce the equation here, mimicking exactly the transitions we have here. So, for example, we have a transition with a1 to qi1. So we have uh, here a1 xi1 plus and so on till am to qim. So plus am concatenated with xim as the equation. That's for the case that the qi state is not accepting. If the state is, is accepting, then uh, the language also contains the empty word because it's the accepting state. From this state on we can accept the empty word, so we have to add the empty word, so we have to add plus epsilon. After we have established the system of equations, we can use substitution and Arden's lemma to actually solve it. And after having solved it, we just have to look at the regular expressions that we have for the initial states. If there's more than one, we have to take the union of them. If there's only one, we can just take the one that we have. And the regular expression for the language accepted by the automaton is then the union of all solutions for all initial states. And that's the algorithm.